Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over um, unit tests or tests in Dart um, and also go over specifically the test expect equals. Okay, so right here in the previous video, we went through the asserts and it just said, okay, what could possibly go wrong and where are we going to check ourselves? Okay, so but that is one thing, one way to do a test. The other way to do it is to actually run the code and see what happens. Make sure it's doing what you think it should be doing. So what we would do is something like a test dot test. Okay, because it's running as test dot test. We'll do this one dynamic description. Okay, so I'm going to say um, divider is working I guess something like that okay just something descriptive to tell me what I am actually testing here okay then it's going to be a comma followed by an anonymous function okay so parentheses brackets enter and then you put your test right inside of here what am I gonna test well what I'm gonna say expect so in other words that's just a keyword what am I gonna expect the method divider okay so divider and I'm gonna put some things inside of here like three four comma e equals three divided by four and that should work unless I'm doing something wrong what am I doing here there's some warning going on Expect, oh, oh, test dot equals, you know, I do that a lot. I'm glad the Adam editor is here to help me, though. Divider, I, I misspelled that. I do that a lot, too. Okay, so divider, 3 divided by 4 equals 3 divided by 4. Let's see if we run it and see if it works. All tests passed. So, in other words, the function does what I want it to do. Okay, so that's actually very helpful because... Sometimes you don't know. Okay, but this is a little bit simple, right? It, that's almost like a no kidding, right? So what else can I actually do? Well, what I could do is int a, b, right? And I could put a, b here. And I could put a, b here as well. That's always possible, right? Uh, well, not quite. What's going on right here? Divider method A, A oh, oh, uh, you know, let's just pretend we don't have this. Let's do this. I'm still getting an error. What's going on here? So, um, divider is working. Divider is working. Null object does not have a method. No such, um, oh, oh, so it's not exactly working as we want it to. So how about int A, equals 33 int b equals 11 how about that good okay now does this it, um, work for all things itself so what happens if I put any other number inside here options which I could do let's just say I'm gonna put a for loop a for no loop, not a fort loop. For int equals, I'm going to say negative 500. I is less than 500. I plus plus. And let's do a loop around here. Got to get the brackets correct. Okay. And here I'm going to say A equals I, B equals I. Okay? So I'm going to loop through this whole thing. A is minus 500, B is minus 500, and it keeps going through all the way to the positive. Okay? I think you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get the B to equal zero and see if it'll catch it. Because that's what I'm going to think ahead of time. Wait a minute. Where can I potentially run into problems? And I do hit an error somewhere here. So working, expected, not a number, actual, not a number. Oh, by the way, 
NAN is not a number. Now, wait a minute. Expected not a number, actual not a number, it's the same thing, right? It actually isn't. So not a number is not equal to anything. It's not even equal to itself. Because not a number is not something. It's not a number. So it doesn't say what it is. So in that context, it doesn't equal anything. It's just kind of one of those weird things. So not a number does not equal not a number. So it fails the assertion, and it, um, and it goes from um, the test, excuse me, and it goes from there. So what is that test? That, that thing is basically, it's when that hits zero. How do I prove that? Um, how do I prove that? Uh, let's just go, let's delete this, all my hard work. Okay, and go seven while I'm did, doing there equals zero. All tests passed. Okay, it didn't actually work. Okay, so, um, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the case, um, which is kind of interesting. So, not in zero divided by zero is not a number. So, this is not the best example, but it's one of those things where if it was, if you did divide by zero, it would not have caught it. Okay, if A wasn't the zero also, but interestingly, that test did catch it. So there's a point. The, the point is not all tests are perfect because you have to be able to think about what you're testing because you can't test everything there is to possibly test, right? So you got to think of these things, and it's probably just going to come with experience in terms of what you want to test and therefore how you test it. So that's the problem with doing the tests. You have to write, you have to think about the tests, and you have to write a lot of tests, a lot of extra code. Probably worth it if you run into bugs, and if you run into showstoppers that break the code or crash things. But if it doesn't, if you don't, you're going to be like, who cares? But if you do have problems, you'll be happy you wrote the tests, okay? I don't know, kind of like a seatbelt. It's an inconvenient to put on, but if you get in the car accident, boy, are you glad you have it, right? So that's the first part of um, test equals, um, but let's keep going on with our tests as much as possible, okay? Thanks.